Fire Prevention and Protection Program Qatar Gas Fire Prevention Fire Triangle Considerations When identifying and developing the FRA the first facts to consider are that a fire requires three, three, elements to start, namely fuel, oxygen, and a source of ignition, HAT. Accurate identification of these elements based on the scope of work and taking measures to prevent these elements coming together significantly reduces the risk of a fire. The hierarchy of control will always be applied in line with risk management principles. Typical ignition sources Some ignition sources to consider while developing the FRA. Smoking, that is, matches, lighters, cigarettes. Naked flames, that is, gas cutting, welding, space heaters. Plant and equipment, that is, exhausts, friction from moving parts. Electrical, that is, temporary lighting, overloads, heating from bunched cables. Heat sources, that is, gas and electric cooking equipment, microwaves, kettles. Friction generated heat, that is, disc cutters, bench saws, lathes. Static charge generated by mechanical equipment. Lightning. Hot surfaces, that is, piping, steam tracing, heat transfer fluids, boilers. Typical ignition source control measures. Replace a potential source with safer alternative. Separate ignition sources and combustibles with sufficient space. Conduct routine hot work activities in designated areas with limited or no combustible material in the proximity. Check on hot work activity areas 30 minutes after completion of works, and or keep the fire watch in place for 30 minutes after the work is completed. Regular maintenance and inspection of plant and equipment with potential ignition sources. Designated smoking areas. Removal of wooden scaffold if in close proximity to hot surfaces. Typical sources of fuel. Liquid petroleum gas. Packing materials and wood. Flammable and combustible liquids. Protective coverings, that is, habitats. Acetylene. Scaffold boards. Rubbish. Typical sources of fuel control measures. Keep areas where flammable gas is well ventilated. Use welding blankets. Substitute flammable and combustible liquids with others with higher flash points. Keep stock levels of flammable and combustible materials in open areas to a minimum. Fire equipment. Fire extinguishers will comply with national requirements and be provided and maintained in all areas where hot work, welding, burning, grinding and cutting etc. activities take place. The types and sizes of fire extinguishers provided will vary across the project depending upon the fire hazards present, and the outcome of risk assessments. Requirements for fire blankets, screening with fireproof cloth. Water barrels and wetting down work areas is assessed and provided where necessary. A fire safety equipment defects reporting procedure will be implemented and communicated to all the workforce. A robust maintenance regime will be implemented for all equipment provided in the interest of fire safety. Fire safety program. CTJV will implement a fire protection inspection program including fire extinguishers fire blankets, smoke detectors, fire alarm system etc. Inspection will be done by competent person and or certified third party. Prior to occupancy of any building, temporary office, CTJV will ensure that NWIC occupancy certificate is issued by the relevant WIC department. Other areas to be inspected on a periodic basis are as follows. All workshops, camps and office locations will have assigned fire wardens. Extinguishers will be visually checked on a daily basis by the fire wardens. Documented monthly inspection program of fire safety equipment is coordinated by the assigned fire warden or competent personnel. All employees are instructed in the use of extinguishers and what to do in the event of a fire. Flammable materials are stored in designated areas. 
emergency notices and telephone numbers are posted. Fire teams and wardens are trained. Drills are scheduled and reviewed on a regular basis.